Hi and welcome back. I now have seen on how to connect to the database by using PDO, but we are not sure yet if we was able to connect to the database as expected. That's why we are going to try to test if now the connection was successful and I'm going to use this approach. I will use some of this HTML code to surround our codes in order to be able to see the results in a clear and concise way. So I'm going to try to create a new file and I'm going to, I'm going to call this PDO. Um, pdo hyphen or underscore uh, test dot php as to be a php file too and i'm going to open the php tags and close it right here and underneath here this is where i'm going to put this simple html codes and what this will do to it, display this on the screen and this is where now we are going to be checking our codes and by using the pdo to connect to the database we always use try and catch methods so as to be able to avoid some of the errors that we can meet while we are uh, performing our connect uh, statements and i'm going to surround this try and the first thing that we have to do is to require the uh, connect file and it will be in here so i'm going to require once this to require once this is connect or the pdo uh, this pdo connect file dot php and after doing this, we can proceed with uh, uh, other things in here. I'm going to try to catch for the exception if it it uh, to take the exception and to really store it in the variable e or any variable that we can write. It depends on your preference. I like to make things simple, and I'm going to uh, to open this uh, block. And in this block, this is where I'm going to be handling the error that can be made where we are trying to connect to this. And I will point to the E and I'm going to get the message that will be on there. And I will proceed like this one and I put this. And we will try to connect to the database by using this approach. And we are going to come down here to see if now the connection was successful. And underneath here, I'm going to try to open my PHP tag again, and I'm going to close it before I forgot. And I'm going to put some a bunch of codes here now to check if now we were able to connect to the database. I'm going to use the if, and I'm going to uh, point to the object that we made by way uh, doing the PDO connect, and it was DB as to be the object that we'll be using to connect to the database every time we need to do that. So I'm going to say if db uh, this variable db and if it would be true there will be some message that will be displayed in here and the message would be like echo um for example let me say uh let me put like um let me put like this one and it puts h1 or h2 and say wow like this one who connected to the database like this one all right and i'm going to go ahead and close this h2 like this one and make sure that you you, you end the statement with now the semicolon and in some cases there will be some errors that can be laced and that's where we'll be using the else if now is set to some uh, error and the error variable that we were used we were used there and here and here that's where now you will try to echo some of the error that you can face and i'm going to echo this as um, i'm going to surround this in p and i'm going to call the variable for the error all right and i'm going to do like this one and I hope you are done. Now we are ready now to test if now this works. To do that, I'm going to uh, I'm going to open my my Chrome or the browser that you want to use, and I'm going to use this account for example. I'm going to call the local host, and I'm going to go inside the PDO folder that's where our files are or our scripts are, and I'm going to put some PDO test.php and press enter. And you can see that there will be some of the uh, mistakes on Rain 22. So I'm going to go and see where we messed up actually it's here and try to reload again. 
and you can see that now we were able to connect to the database by using this approach that i was showing you so let's try to introduce some of the errors for example in the connect and uh, i can say like for example let me change for the database like let me put like one to introduce some error and you will see on how it will look like and you can see that there will be uh, some of the errors and it will try to show us some of the errors and to really show you exactly what uh, the error is and you can start from there start debugging and you will see on where the error is and you will spot that very easily so let me go back and put the appropriate data in here and when i try to reload you can see that i was able to connect to the database i hope guys you find this video interesting and you are now getting used to pdo uh, stuffs we're going to continue with some other interesting things so keep in touch and make sure that you are doing exercise as i'm moving on don't you sit and watch because you can't do that and know anything about this one so without further ado i will see you in the next one peace